Hey everybody, it's Christopher Burgess here. It's been about a month since I shot out my last video blog. I think it was the 1st of January, the day after I'd returned from Mexico last time. And now I'm in Kona, Hawaii. And on Monday I will be going to Taiwan to do Titus Project. Um, if you haven't followed my last video, a couple video blogs, I will be doing a teaching course in Taiwan that is a follow-up for SBS. Um, SBS is a prerequisite for Titus Project, and they take everything that you have learned during your Titus, during your SBS, and apply it in the Titus Project. And what we do is train for three weeks, and then go on an outreach for two and a half months. And I'll be going to Nagaland, India, and I am very excited to go with a group of uh, five people total. It's going to be very, very exciting. Right now, I am at the flags in Kona, Hawaii, the flags of the nations. We have nearly every nation represented in these flags and if you watched my video blogs from the beginning you will remember that the first or second video blog I ever did was right here and it is crazy how now uh, 40 plus video blogs later here I am doing another one from the flags. It's awesome. <clears throat> so I shared kind of a little bit about coming to Kona last time and spending some time here and really getting connected with Awaken and seeing what Awaken is going to be doing the next year to a couple years. Um, Awaken is a group that I've been a part of in Kona who really value Kingdom Family unto the Great Commission, unto the advancement of the Kingdom of God through the nations. And coming here I wasn't 100% sure of what I would be a part of um, in the future of the um, working together. And so as the month has progressed, it has become more and more clear that the Lord has called me to do logistical work with Awaken, um, administrative work, which is so my heart. I love it so much, and I love to see it done with excellence so that um, God is glorified through every means of ministry that we have. And it is very exciting because I'll be able to um, take part in helping with the outreach coordination of Awaken in the future, and I will have the opportunity to um, impart what I have learned to staff uh, regarding finances and making sure that outreaches are set up to succeed uh, in every instance. And yeah, my heart is just to see students just get closer to God on outreach, to really see the Lord break through. And I'm very excited to be able to take part in the development and um, perpetuating, if that's even a word, of the values of Awaken into these outreaches, as well as taking part in discipling staff when I come back in May from India, I will be discipling staff who are part of the schools to yeah, make sure that they are keeping up with what the Lord is doing in their life and not just um, yeah, pouring everything out and being drained through this process. I really want to see staff who are well equipped and uh, fired up to continue pursuing the call of God in their life and not just um, dwindle out after one experience because it was difficult. Um, Having done this for a couple of years, uh, I have really seen how the Lord is using um, past experiences and um, the things I have learned to bring authority to the situation that may be at hand. And uh, it's such a privilege to be a part of Awaken and be able to um, teach new staff and talk to new staff and help them really see that um, the Lord has called them not just to do something, but to be somebody and to be part of a community. We have, yeah, been just gathering together um, as Awaken leadership this past weekend, really um, threw around and discussed what the future of Awaken is going to look like, um, how the Lord is developing the community, what He is looking to expand and grow, and how, um, yeah, the expanse of this community, this ministry of the Lord, um, is going to look as we progress through DTSs and other training means as well as looking forward to planting communities in the nations and really getting out there so that's like the main goal of everything is just to get into the nations and to preach the gospel and yeah just release the kingdom of heaven into the places that have yet to see it or receive it so it's very exciting to be part of this community at this time because of everything the Lord is doing. It's very evident the Lord has his hand upon the awakened community and that he is doing so much um, through them. We are running DTSs in April, July, September, and January um, progressively through this next year. And to be a part of those is going to be such a privilege and a blessing. 
and all of it is unto seeing the nations awake and, and seeing people awaken to the knowledge that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and that yeah, he, he loves his people, and yeah, he's still on the move. He's not dead. He's surely alive, and um, I am so blessed to be a part of this group, and yeah, it has been awesome. If you'd like to hear more about what I'm doing or what I have been doing, please send me an email. I would love to chat more and share more about it, as well as what I'm looking forward to in the future, and yeah, as things progress, I will be sharing more and um, letting everybody know what the Lord is doing, as well as what I will be doing. So, you can expect my next video blog from Taiwan. I will be leaving on Monday, as I said, and I will be landing there, being there for three weeks, and then two and a half months in India. I'm in this little pocket called Nagaland. It's right south of Bhutan, north of Bangladesh, and uh, west of Burma. So, um, be praying for me, please. Uh, that would be a super big blessing if you could pass this on to anybody that you might think would like to hear it and hear about what God is doing in the nations. Um, that would be a huge blessing. So thank you so much for listening. And yeah, thank you all for those of you who are supporting me. And um, yeah, be blessed. Thank you so much. Bye.